I just found a cool ChatGPT plugin that automates that analysis in seconds. This plugin is called Notable, and it will help us generate a complete data analysis from our datasets with just a prompt. Notable can generate quick reports like this one, or we can customize our prompt to get a visualization and analysis we want. The best part is that we also get a notebook with all the Python code used for the analysis. This is probably the best ChatGPT plugin for data analysis right now, and in this video, we'll see how to make the most of it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, I want to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, LearnPython.com. LearnPython has courses for everyone, from beginners to professionals. If you're interested in learning Python for data science, I recommend you to take this Python for data science course, which has hundreds of coding challenges and exercises that are based on real life scenarios and will help you go from zero to data scientist in no time. One of the things I like about LearnPython is that they're constantly expanding the number of courses on their platform. Also, they offer a 100% web-based experience. And here's some exciting news. LearnPython.com is offering their Python Basic Part 1 course for free. All you need to do is register via the link in the description below. No credit card or additional info is needed. So, start today. Alright, the first thing we have to do is install this plugin. So, we have to go to GPT-4 and you have to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber to have this functionality. And then we have to click here on No Plugins Enabled. Then we have to go to the plugin store and we have to look for this plugin called Notable. And right now there is no search bar to find this plugin fast. So what you have to do is go to the popular section and probably you're gonna find this plugin. So here I have Notable and you have to click on install. So once you have this plugin, you're gonna see a window that will pop up, a window like this one. And in this window, you have to create a Notable account. And in your Notable account, you'll be able to see the notebook with all the code that is gonna be generated. The rest is gonna be on ChatGPT. So just log in with Google, and after you do this, you're going to see this. And well, you'll see your space, and you're gonna see a project here. In this case, the project by default is my first project. Here I created another project to show you how it should look from scratch. So when you have your project, you only have to click on the project that you have there or create a new project from scratch. You select your project and then you'll get something like this. You get uh, the name of your project and my first notebook. And what we have to do right now is copy the link of your project. So here I'm going to copy this link and we have to save it because we're going to use it later. All right, now let's have a look at the prompt to use. So here on ChatGPT, I'm going to close the plugin store and we're going to see the prompt that we're going to use to automate that analysis with Notable. And here's the prompt. So first we have this message that says load this data set. And here we have to paste the link of the data set that we want to work with. Then we have uh, the link of the default project that we're going to use. In this case, the link is this one that I showed you before. Again, I'm gonna show you the steps. You have to go to your space, then you have to create a project. I'm gonna use the project that I named Automating Data Analysis for this test. And here you have to copy the link of this project. So I copy the link of the project and then I paste it here. And finally, you have to type this act as a data scientist, and then you have to specify the details for the analysis that is going to be done. Now, what we have to do is use a data set. And for this test, I'm going to use this data set that I have here, it's on my GitHub, and this data set has data about population. So the population from 1950 to 2020 for all the countries around the world. So here I'm going to copy this link, and as you can see, this link has that, that CSV extension. So with this, I make sure that it's going to read a CSV file. So I have the link of the data set. I have the link of the project that we're going to use. And in this project, we're going to get a notebook with all the code. And finally, I'm going to use a simple prompt for this first test. So my prompt is going to be something like this. Act as a data scientist and analyze the data and make charts and graphs to show the trends in population growth around the world. As you can see, there are not so many details and I'm just letting ChatGPT and Notable to do most of the analysis on its own. So now I'm going to press enter, but before I'm going to enable the Notable plugin. So I check on the box and then I have this plugin enabled. So now I'm gonna press enter and wait for the analysis. 
All right, Notable finished with analysis, and as we can see here, it says that the analysis provides a high-level view of population trends, and this happens because we didn't give so many details. And in the next example, we're going to add more details to customize our analysis. But for now, let's see what ChatGPT and Notable generated. First, we see an overview of the columns that the dataset has, and well, it has three columns, and also we see the first five rows. Then we see a chart. This is a line plot of the top five most populous countries from 1955 to 2020. And these countries are China, India, the USA, Indonesia, and Pakistan. So we can see this line plot that was generated automatically. Then we can see some notes about this line plot. We see three notes. And finally, we see that world population growth from 1955 to 2020. And in case you want to see the notebook generated with all the code, you have to go to the project. And here we can see that there is a new notebook called population underscore analysis. And if I click on it, we should see the same visualizations and all the code that was used to get the analysis and also the visualizations. So we can see first that the dataset was read using pandas and python then we can see that matplotlib was used we can see the code used to generate the line plot and all the details so now let's continue with another analysis of another data set but in this case we're going to use more details to customize our analysis all right i started another chat from scratch and here i'm going to use the following prompt so this is my prompt and it has the same structure than the one before. First, it says load this data set. And in this case, the data set I'm going to use is one from the FIFA, the FIFA game, FIFA 20. And this data set has information about soccer players, such as the FIFA ratings, the age, the weight, the height, the value of the players in euros and more. Then I have to provide the link of the project that I'm going to use. In this case is this project. Uh, automating that analysis, I'm going to copy and paste the link of the project. And finally, here is the prompt that I'm using to customize my analysis. So first I'm saying, act as a data scientist and analyze the soccer players from only the countries, the USA, Canada, England, Brazil, and Argentina. Then I'm telling ChatGPT to make a bar plot to analyze the ratings, the FIFA ratings that represents how good a soccer player is at playing soccer. Then I'm telling ChatGPT to make a histogram and a box plot to explore the average height of the players in these countries, in only these five countries. And finally, uh, I tell to make a scatter plot to see how the weight is distributed and also a pie chart to see the top 10 most valuable players from the USA. So as you can see, there are many details in this analysis and this is not a generic analysis, but I'm asking for specific visualizations and I'm selecting some countries. So let's see how Notable is going to do this analysis. So now I have the Notable plugin enabled and now I'm going to press enter and see what happens. All right, Notable finally got all the visualizations. First, we see the bar plot with the average overall ratings by country. Then we can see a histogram that shows the distribution of players' heights across all the countries. And it was also good. Then we can see the box plot with the uh, heights by country. Then we can see the distribution of the weight in this scatter plot. And finally, we can see the top 10 most valuable soccer players from the USA. And again, if we go here to Notable, we can see there is a new notebook that is called Soccer Players Analysis. And if we click on it, we're going to see all the Python code used to generate all these visualizations. All right, before I finish with this video, I want to show you something even cooler that you can do with this plugin, which is reading multiple data sets and doing that analysis. So I'm going to enable this Notable plugin, and then I'm going to paste the prompt that we're going to use for this last test. So here, you can read multiple data sets as long as you provide the links. So in this case, I'm providing the links of five data sets that belong to the game FIFA from the year 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. And with this data, I'm going to ask ChatGPT and Notable to generate a line plot so we can see the evolution of the FIFA ratings for some 
top soccer players. So to do this, first, of course, I need to provide the links, which are here. And finally, have to specify all the details here in my prompt. So I'm telling ChatGPT to act as a data scientist and load the five datasets. Then I'm describing what these datasets are about. And after this, I'm telling how to read this dataset. And finally, I'm telling ChatGPT what are these five soccer players that are going to be included in this analysis. And also, I'm telling ChatGPT to make a line plot to see the evolution of the FIFA ratings from 2017 to 2021. All right, now I'm going to press enter and wait for the analysis that Notable and ChatGPT are going to generate. All right, ChatGPT finished with analysis and now we can see the line plot that I asked for. And now again, if we go to Notable, we can see that there is a new file and this file has all the code used to read the data sets, to create the column year, to only analyze the five soccer players that I want and also to generate the line plot that I asked for. And that's pretty much it. All of this was generated with this simple prompt. And by the way, to keep working with the notebooks that Notable generates, you still have to know how to write code in Python. So I recommend you to keep learning Python and improve your skills. And a good platform that you can use for this is our sponsor, learnpython.com. So don't forget to check the courses that I'm gonna leave on the description of this video. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.